Hi everyone, welcome, it's Heidi. Back today for another quick hand bag review. Um, today I want to show you a bag that I just recently purchased from um, the brand Munster Gabrielle. I'm not sure if I'm actually saying that correctly, I hope so. Uh, but this is a bag that I've been wanting to try for a while. I actually wanted to try their mini bucket drawstring bag or their regular size uh, drawstring bag for a while. Um, you will find lots of them on Poshmark, Mercari. Um, you just want to be careful about um, them being authentic bags. I know that they were wildly popular um, several years ago. But anyway, I didn't know about them then. Um, probably wouldn't have purchased it anyway because of the price point. Um, so buying Slightly Gently Used was perfect for me to be introduced to the brand and their quality. Um, I've watched lots of videos about them and I just really was excited to try my first one. Um, this one is their mini bucket backpack. And this is the color that I was hoping that I would find, um, you know, the used market. Um, this is Brandy. Um, I just think it's a gorgeous, um, kind of like an English saddle type color. I think it will match so many things. And this is 100% vegetable tan leather. Um, I don't typically like to review bags that aren't readily available, um, but given the popularity of this brand, I think it will be pretty easy to find what you're looking for. You know, if you are open to buying gently used bags on, you know, I and mean, there's there's all kinds of used um, markets, but my favorites are Mercari and Poshmark. Um, but this one um, is very gently used. It does not have a ton of wear for this type of leather. Um, it is very typical for this type of leather to scratch, to water spot, and to stain. It's just all part of the beauty of vegetable tan leather and how it develops into a gorgeous patina over time. But anyway, um, I thought this one had very minimal wear because even like straight out of the box, I mean, you can pull these out and they'll just scratch super easily. That doesn't compromise the integrity of the bag at all or the leather. It's just typical for this type of leather. Um, if you go to their website, you will see something very similar called um, the lady backpack and they have the mini lady backpack. It's very similar in style. Um, they do have some different types of leather if vegetable tan is not your thing um, because I understand some people don't want something that's more durable, they can carry it in the rain, etc. They do have some calf skin leather on there. They have both a smooth or a smooth polished and um, a more soft textured leather that would probably be less likely to scratch than their vegetable tan. And I took a quick glance at their website as far as their brandy, I don't see anything currently in brandy, but they do have the Camello Rosa, which is the Camello on the outside with the interior of a really light, like really soft pink Rosa interior. And it's a vegetable tan leather as well. They have that in their bucket, in their mini bucket. So if you're wanting something similar to this leather, that would be it. Or they have a black vegetable tan leather that's absolutely stunning with a red interior. But let me just go over this. I've, I've talked too much already. Um, I love how lightweight this backpack is. Like it literally is so light and I, already, and I have it packed even. That's the beauty of this kind of leather. Um, and it does have very minimal branding there. And I'll just kind of give you a close up of the leather so that you can kind of see the scratches that I'm talking about. Um, I feel like it's all very subtle, but it's it's just part of it. And I actually don't mind those at all. This is the base of the bag. It has a really nice finish. And I love, love, love that they have shoulder straps or pads on the straps, I should say. And these do have, um, the peg adjuster and it does have a keeper there to kind of keep the tail tucked away so that it's not flapping. Really nice little grab handle. Um, and let me show you how you get into the bag. It's 
really kind of neat. I don't know that I've seen anything like this before, but it has a loop up here and a loop down here. So it is a drawstring. And I saw another video where um, the girl had actually lost this piece and I can see how that could easily happen right there. Um, I wish there was something kind of to block that from going completely off the end there. Um, it just opens up nice. It's not a huge bag, um, but it does hold plenty of things inside. And this particular one, and you can, I don't know if it's still an option, but um, the older ones, you could get them unlined. So some of the newer ones are lined with a patent leather that's very resistant to scratches and things like that. And it's very nice and easy to wipe. But I kind of, I'm all about the natural hide. I do love that this one is suede inside. And just to kind of give you a view of what I have, I have a full-size cosmetic bag, two card wallets, hand sanitizer, mints, and alcohol wipes in there. It does have an interior pocket. It is, it does have a really nice leather pull on it. It is not very useful to be quite honest. Um, it's extremely tight. Like, I don't know. I mean, you might be able to get like your debit card in there or like I have a disposable mask in there or, you know, some cash or things like that, but sure, it's gonna be very limited what you can fit in there. And then as far as closing it back up, you just cinch it closed here. And I could go with just that, like that would be fine. Um, it doesn't, it's just as simple as that. Or, you know, if I wanted more security, you just simply uh, put those through the bottom loop, back through the top, and just pull it down. And then you have a very secure closure. Like, you know, it's, it's, it could open, but it's more secure that way. And if someone were to try to open it, I think you would feel some resistance there. Okay, so um, I will go over um, how this fits on me. Um, I love that this backpack is, the straps are thin enough that you can easily even carry them on the same shoulder. Like if you don't want to carry it like in full backpack mode, these are slim enough that I think you can carry it just like that, just fine. Um, I have it adjusted, let's see. I could actually go shorter on that if I wanted to, but um, let me just try this on. I'm five foot five, just for reference. it for today. If you have any questions about this Monster Gabrielle mini bucket packet, please feel free to ask, comment below. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day.